Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. This video by Miles Davis claims that Flat Earth is dead because he can apparently see 1,000 meters or more of curvature and claims that this observation is impossible if the Earth is flat. And it ends with a challenge to prove him wrong, which I'm going to do in this and show the deception involved, whether that deception is uh, deliberate or accidental. I don't know, but of course uh, perspective is the main thing, uh, the main issue here. So let's have a look at what's what's happened. Um, so here we have this shot and uh, what he's claiming is that he is at a height equal to the top of the tower on that bridge, which is 210 meters. So he's claiming to be at the same height, 210 meters, as the top of this tower. And the hills in the in the background are at least 500 meters tall and so according to him they should appear higher than the top of that tower now, of course we all know that perspective makes things appear shorter and shorter over distance so this is really right off the bat uh, a normal view that we would see uh, on a flat earth here he's made a comparison uh, with a side-on view showing his uh, observation point here and the tower on the bridge which is about 45 kilometers away and then another 45 kilometers away we have these large hills and uh, so he's showing what he should be seeing he he should be seeing uh, uh, he should be in line okay if the camera's eye level is in line with the top of this tower we should see that the hills are uh, remain higher than the top of the tower from that particular perspective. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, what he does then is go on to make uh, a comparison, which is a very good uh, example of perspective. We have the camera uh, in line with the top of these cans on the floor, a flat floor, and he's drawn a line right across the center of the uh, the camera's field of view so this is the camera's eye level and the camera is level with the top of that can and of course level with the rest of the cans as they go off into the distance so yes everything lines up perfectly because they are all the same height and the camera is level and uh, centered with the top of the cans great great example We'll come back to that in a minute. So, of course, he's comparing that to this. Uh, here we go. Is uh, This is, a, I think, a, a zoomed out shot. Um, we, he's showing the, the heights of the hills. They're 500 or so meters tall, yet they appear shorter than uh, this tower in the, uh, in the foreground, which is 210 meters. And again, he's claiming to be at the same height as the top of that tower. But we can, uh, and then he goes through to very, you know, scientifically, it all looks very good. Uh, we've got the curvature calculator in there to show us where the, where the distances are, etc., etc. And let's just listen to the challenge at the end of this. Fancy theodolite or any other um, expensive piece of kit to be able to demonstrate this sort of thing. And I challenge any flat earther who has made it to the end of this video to do two things firstly explain how this observation is impossible on sorry is possible on a flat earth and secondly to go to traprain law on a clear day okay so he he admits that he didn't use any expensive equipment didn't really level everything correctly just used a normal camera with a standard zoom and the challenge is to show how this is possible on a flat earth so let's have a look at the deception going on in these images this is one of the first shots and it's it's zoomed in i believe claiming that the camera height is 210 meters at the same height as the top of this tower and that the hills are 500 meters uh, high there in the background and they appear lower so this is apparently impossible if the earth is flat and you can see just with your eyes that uh, the camera isn't in line with the tops of those towers it's either tilted or just simply not at the same height 
if it is this zooming in has created a, a larger gap and we can see here I put a blue line across the center of the image which is so it can it shows that the camera is actually angling up it's pointing up even if it is in line with the top of that tower it's not looking directly at the top of the tower so this will make a difference to the parallax of the uh, hills in the background and uh, here we see that he's drawn this red line across the top of the towers again stating that the camera is in line with the top of the towers yet if it were then this red line would be in the center of the image like where this blue line is that I've drawn in the center of the image so you can see that the camera is not pointing directly or it's not level it's not pointing directly at the top of the tower and then we have uh, this is great this is, as I said this is a good example of perspective with the cameras eye level right in the middle there drawn with a red line by miles representing the cameras eye level and he's placed it level and of course then the tops of the other cans do line up with this one because they are they are all at the same height and the camera is level and looking along that line of sight so this is a great example of how it does actually work uh, when you do have the camera lined up correctly with uh, the, at the same height as everything else that's in the distance but of course what's not or is being ignored here is is this effect of perspective which we have you can see okay the the floor doesn't really make much of a difference here what's important is the eye level and the horizontal eye level of the camera which makes everything below the eye level appear to rise up and everything above eye level appear to come down so these cans could be the hills in the background of the photograph and as you can see even though they are the same height there is a dramatic difference and this drop over a very short distance uh, a, a, a few meters in this hallway indoors yeah so we have this convergence this is the horizon this is the uh, eye level of the camera so everything converges at the camera's eye level so really this is where we should see that line uh, in the other images of the towers and the hills there should be dead center and then everything would line up uh, I think that's the end of that one okay great so let's just take a look at this perspective here I did this a couple of years ago pointing out the the difference that we see in the height uh, of the lighters which are all the same height and what I did here was uh, at the end of that row I put a lighter I raised it up so it's physically higher than the other lighters and we as we move along the row we'll see obviously they these on horizontally they all appear to be the same height except the one at the end which is higher and when we line the camera up at the same height the camera's eye level is at the same height as the lighters then they are all in line except for that one that is physically higher it still appears physically higher because of our height because of our eye level being at the same level as the lighters but when we bring the eye level down below the tops of the lighters we can see that the lighter at the end now appears to be shorter than the lighters in front of it simply because we lowered our perspective because our line of sight is not in line with the top of the lighters anymore yeah so we can see that even though the, what the lighter at the end is physically higher than the lighters in front of it it still doesn't appear to be as high as the lighters in front of it when we look at it from this perspective okay so these this is the law of perspective at work which Miles correctly showed with his cans but didn't apply properly to the observations he made outdoors so yeah there we go Miles uh, this is this is why uh, you can see this on a flat earth you simply didn't line everything up with the claim that you were at the same level as the tower in front of you and what's also interesting is um, 
For example, we have uh, Wolfie, 6020, a prominent uh, Globurst defender who claims to be a pilot. Outstanding miles, great observation, and beautifully analysed beyond any doubt. Well, if Wolfie, Wolfie's a pilot, he would should be able to tell with his eyes that uh, this shot is not looking directly at the tower. In fact, that's quite frightening that uh, a pilot would uh, not notice something like that. So, you know, with these this this frankly. Uh, very inaccurate and deceptive observation and an outright claim that it's impossible if the earth is flat. We have all these people jumping to uh, praise Miles for his work and uh, with, with no constructive criticism whatsoever. Uh, flat earthers are used to having constructive criticism offered by other flat earthers to try and arrive at a scientific result. This isn't a scientific result. It is... Uh, the perpetuation of a belief and uh, taking a stance that has in no way been proven and has been uh, allegedly proven with with deception okay so whether the camera was at a height of 10 uh, 210 or not is disputable but uh, the it's obvious that uh, this tower is not in the center of the field of view so something didn't go right there. And even though the hills are much taller than the uh, tower in the foreground, they are about another 50 miles away, 50 kilometers away, I think. Uh, so, of course, they will appear much, much smaller and become part of the observer's horizon. So it's perfectly possible on a flat Earth. And that is why perspective is the imaginary curve. As usual, it's been ignored and uh, translated into curvature, which doesn't exist. And of course, um, one other thing to uh, consider is the distance between these hills, this one on the left and on the right. I'm not sure of the distance, but uh, Miles is claiming that uh, what he's seeing in front of him is evidence of 300, uh, or about a thousand feet, 300 meters of curvature in front of him over a distance of about 90 kilometers forwards so I don't know the distance between uh, this point and this point but if it's more than 90 kilometers then of course given that logic that we're seeing curvature in front of us you should also see curvature on the horizontal across a distance that is possibly greater than the distance we are that, that is uh, looking forwards and claiming to be evidence of curvature. But of course, the Earth being so big, we shouldn't see curvature at such a short distance, should we? But again, we have to remember that everything is being compressed into this uh, distant view. So uh, the fact that we can see these peaks on the left and the right uh, very far apart in the distance, again, tells us that we have perspective getting narrower, narrower and narrower in our field of view as we see across greater and greater distance. Okay, Miles, uh, I think that's satisfactorily debunked and shown that it is perfectly possible on a flat Earth. All right, back to the drawing board, mate. Thank you very much.